welcome back. I've got a fun one for you today. We're going to be looking at flames, how they burn, and particularly uh, which direction they burn in. So um, looks like an old school science lesson this one, but you'll all remember Bunsen burners. And what I really wanted to look at was why, firstly, they're so cool and cold close up to them on the side, and yet they seem so much hotter above the flame, even well above the flame. Um, it's a property of air and um, when you warm up air it becomes less dense and it rises and obviously the Bunsen's heating up the air as the uh, gas and oxygen um, burn together and so um, the hot air being less dense or at least the combustion products being less dense rise up and create a convection current and it's that bit that's important for what we do later today. Um, you might have always wondered when you light a match why the flame goes upwards um, and you perhaps might not have done it with a Bunsen burner at school but of course if you turn the Bunsen burner through 90 degrees um, the flame still knows to convect upwards and um, it's this convection current uh, we're going to look at today but we're going to add a twist. So for the experiment I'd like to show you we need a few bits and pieces. Uh, we need some fuel for the uh, flame and this is uh, lighter fuel. Um, a little uh, cup to um, light the fuel in. This is the base of a tea light um, and um, this you'll have to be a bit more imaginative with. Um, it's a lazy Susan. I'm not quite sure how politically correct that term is, uh, but it's a turntable of some kind. Um, we have them in physics laboratories, um, but it could be something like the old turntable on a record player or something. And uh, I've also got here a bin, waste paper bin, and it's got um, metal sides, metal base, and it's got um, a see-through mesh. And that mesh is gonna be quite important for the experiment we're going to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of lighter fuel in the uh, little cup there um, from the tea light, it's a metal one. Um, so that's gonna get quite hot. Um, light it, there we go. And you notice you do get this convecting flame we were talking about, and then rotate it a little bit. And as I rotate it, you'll notice the flame gets a little bit taller. It, it sort of waggles from side to side a bit. Um, but I'd like to explain why the flame gets that much taller and what's actually going on. And then we'll modify the experiment a little. So here's a modification to the experiment. What I've done is I've put the waste paper bin with the slots in the side on top of the rotating turntable. And I've placed the uh, tea light holder inside uh, with a little bit of lighter fuel. And what we'll do this time is we'll relight it inside the bin and then we'll spin the system and see what happens. So there's the light and you can see that the uh, flame is um, convecting upwards as we expect. But let's rotate it a bit. And there it goes. Quite unusual this and takes a bit of explaining. So let's see if we can explain what's happening. I've put some more fuel back inside the little tea light base and we'll relight it and see if we can get our fire tornado again. I'm not going to get into the ins and outs of whether it's really a tornado. Um, I think technically it's actually a fire whirl. Um, it's not a genuine tornado, but I like the term fire tornado and that's um, what other people seem to call it. So let's light the uh, little tea light. And then we'll allow the flame to build up. Remember the convection current, that's the uh, hot gases rising are beginning to happen. And then let's impart some angular momentum to it. And there we go. There's the tornado beginning to form. So what's happening here, of course, is the hot air, or at least the hot gases are rising. But as they're rising, the air around them, that's the cold air inside the waste paper bin, is rotating. And that rotating air is, part, is pushing on the rising air and giving it some angular momentum, causing it to rotate. And of course, if it's rotating and rising, it's creating a low pressure at the bottom and replacement air is being brought in from the outside, the higher pressure zone. So that's what creates our little tornado. It lasts as long as the fuel lasts, but it's all really good fun.
So you now know a little bit more about convection currents and also why flames always point upwards. Um, it's great fun, the fire tornado. Really hope you enjoyed that experiment and I'll see you next time for another one.